Hi Gravitrax fans, I wanted to introduce the concept of GraviCalc. GraviCalc is using Gravitrax marble runs to teach how computers work at their most basic level, teaching digital logic and computing with marbles. We're going to have in this series two types of marble runs. Type A, I'm just calling it Type A, is going to use marbles as bits, the ones and the zeros in a computer. We're going to represent ones with marbles, and we're going to represent zeros with um, the absence of marbles. I'll go through that in just a second uh, with an example. We're also going to, in the future, look at type B. I'm just calling it type B to differentiate um, type of Gravicalc marble runs where we use the switches in Gravitrax as bits. Uh, the ones and zeros. So the switch pointing to the left would be a one, the switch pointing to the right would be a zero. You can use this to teach binary counting, which is really good in math to help uh, help kids understand uh, that the base 10 system that we all use to count with is not the only counting system out there. Um, and it actually helps you understand your base 10 system and how digits carry over if you study another system like binary. Um, I'm a homeschool dad so I'm using this to teach and uh, I think you guys could do the same so I'm gonna go through an example of how would you use this to teach your kids a little bit more about how computers really work. The computers are not just black boxes that you program you know on the STEM toys and the STEM apps that don't actually tell you how does the computer actually calculate you know 5 plus 5 equals 10 or whatever it, the computer does and the computer basically uses small digital logic circuits that are tied together into these much larger circuits and they do calculations over and over very quickly simple calculations and when these are all tied together then it can do complex um, calculations in arithmetic so breaking it down to the most basic level, a computer works through digital logic, these gates they're called. Gate, a gate is just an operation that performs a small uh, bit of what's called digital logic. So let's go through the first example. The first is an, an AND gate. I call it AND gate 1 because there's more than one way to implement an AND gate in Gravitrax. So this marble run here represents or emulates an AND gate. So the way we're using this is the marbles in the launch pad are the inputs. If there is a marble in a slot, that's a 1. If there is no marble in the slot, that's a 0. It represents a 0, a 1 or a 0, or an on and an off. and the landing pad, if there's a marble in that at the end, after you run the simulation, after you run the marble run, if there's a marble there, then that's a 1 in the output. If there's no marble there, that's a 0. Now you need to build these tracks in person and run them because if you just run them in the app, the app is always going to preload both marbles you know, in, in the input slots. So you can only see one of the four scenarios. The way you would teach this, you know, even if you don't know anything about an AND gate, okay, and this is, this is an AND gate representation, is you would just run the scenarios and you would write out a, what's called a logic table on a sheet of paper. It consists of four rows and three columns. The three columns would be your input one, or your left slot of, of the uh, launch pad. The second column would be input two, or marble two. You, you probably call it input two, because sometimes you will not have a marble in those inputs. That's your right slot. And then you're going to have an output. That's your third column. So you'd have input one, I1, input two, I2 and O for your output would be your third column and that would represent what shows up in the landing pad and then you would make four rows 
And what you would do is row 1 would be input 1 is 0, input 2 is 0. Row 2, input 1 is 1, and input 2 is 0. Row 3, input 1 is 0, input 2 is 1. And then row 4, input 1 is 1, input 2 is 1. You would fill that out, and then you would run the four scenarios to see what you get for an output and record those. So this is teaching, based on inputs and outputs, what does an AND gate do? And you'll see if you put no marble in the left input and no marble in the right input, and then you press the launch pad, of course there's no marbles there, so you will not get a marble in the output. So the first row, you would write in a zero in your output column. If you put one marble in the left slot and no marble in the right slot, and you run it, you will not get a marble in the output because you can see the first marble gets diverted off to the left here. So you ignore that marble. It didn't make it to the landing pad. Same thing if you have a marble in the right slot but none in the left slot. With an AND gate, the only way you get a 1 or a marble in the output is if you have marbles in both inputs. So that's the way an AND gate works. So this is a visual representation, kind of a hands-on of what an AND gate in a computer or a digital logic circuit does. Pardon me. The, um, the OR gate is the exact same circuit but with the switch in the opposite direction. So what that does is it puts the first marble into the landing pad and then rejects the second marble. So if you have a marble in either input it will make it to the landing pad. Or if you have it, a marble in both inputs, one of them, the first one, will make it to the landing pad. If you have no marbles in either input, obviously you have no marble in the output. So that's the way an OR gate works. It's another piece of digital logic, AND gates, OR gates, and these things are um, stacked together and added together to make more complex circuits that can actually do arithmetic. But these, this is just looking at the, like the very basics, the most basic unit, really, of how a piece of electronics inside the computer works. So it's pretty, uh, pretty neat. Then we have what's called the XOR gate. This is one representation of it. This is the one that works in the app. I have another one which I like better, but it doesn't work in the app. The XOR gate is just like the OR gate, except if there's marbles in both inputs, there will be no marble in the output. So it only works if you have one on the left and none on the right, or one on the right and none on the left. It only works if you have one marble in an input, but marbles in both inputs will collide and they won't make it to the output. Let me load the other XOR gate representation, which I like better in person because it is a little more com uh, compact and it's uh, not as many pieces, although it does use up one of your switches. I'm trying to make these so that, if possible, we could build the biggest layouts we can with just a simple starter set. Or, as we get more complex, I want to make sure that they actually work within the app so that if you don't have the parts to actually build it as we start using up more switches or more of the Y's uh, the, the three to ones and the two to ones if you don't have the pieces to build it at least you could l teach it through the app so the way uh, again the way this one works it doesn't work in the app as you see if I run it it actually puts a marble into the output but in real life what happens is the two marbles will jam in that switch they won't collide the way they do in the app. They will kind of merge, and then they will both follow each other into that switch, and then they'll jam there so that no marble goes to the output. So this is also an XOR gate. It only works if you have one marble, uh, in, a marble in one input, not in both. Um, so what we're going to do in the future is um, I'm going to put out a series of videos but I wanted to get you started 
and with any of these gates just make that logic table lead your kids through it have them run the experiments have them fill in the outputs and it gives them an intuitive feel for what's happening inside of a computer and then what we're going to do in the future is we're going to start uh, we're going to introduce a few more of these logic gates then we're going to put them together to to form um, adders half adders and full adders and um, that can actually do carry over arithmetic in the binary system and that's that's the other thing is this is going to teach binary arithmetic which is great to know so um, hope you enjoy the concept of graphic calc um, subscribe and uh, to, to the channel and you'll get updates uh, as we release more of these um, more of these uh, graphic calc layouts so right now we have uh, looks like four of them in the Gravis Sheet version 1.6. So look up my uh, video on Gravis Sheet if you're not familiar with it. As you can see through this video, um, it it's able to take app codes and then you can click on the link and it loads those codes into the Gravis Track app so that you can build them. And the way you would build these, if if you're not familiar, is you just go to the manual mode and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions of how to build the layout. So, hope you enjoy this video. Um, again, Gravitrax is a really great STEM toy, not only for physics, but for learning digital logic. So take care.